I got Crohn's when I was 15, so I like I played baseball nonstop. Um, and then when I got Crohn's, I lost like 50 pounds. I'm like, fuck that. Um, you got Crohn's? I mean, Crohn's disease. But, right, but Crohn's is something that's a genetic disease, right? So yeah. it just manifests itself? It started to emerge? Yeah, most people get it like when they're around 15 to 20. I oh, mean, I really? guess you're, you're born with the genetics thing, but I guess it doesn't actually, the inflammation doesn't occur until that age. Yeah, and so I lost like 40 pounds because I was going to the bathroom like 10 times a day. And there was a period like where I, I actually I, I kind of like quit YouTube when I was like 13, 14, like so I could just really focus on baseball. But then once I got that, which was probably a blessing, I was like, fuck it. I don't care anymore. And I just went all in on YouTube. So this Crohn's, does this make you, you do you have to seriously regu regulate your diet? Yes. Very regulated diet. I run out of energy very easily. Like, cause that doesn't make sense. How's that possible? You have so much energy. <laughs> I Mr. Beast, the man who gives away millions of dollars to random people for no reason. Or is there a reason? Apparently there is a reason to all his madness, and it's allegedly because he's dying. So chances are you've probably seen one of those videos about why Mr. Beast actually gives away his money. And there's a lot of people saying a lot of different things, but the main thing people are saying is that Mr. Beast is dying. But is that even true? You see, Mr. Beast has Crohn's disease. He made a video a while back on his disease, and he even talked about it just a tiny little bit on the Casey Neistat podcast. But people have noticed that when he talked about it on that podcast, he was really kind of weird about it. When he was asked about his disease, Mr. Beast seemed really uncomfortable and kind of didn't seem like he wanted to talk about it. There's a lot to that, but I think we probably should just say that for a different time. And because of this disease, people think that he's dying and he just wants to give his money away before he's gone. From his current Twitter bio about trying to make the world a better place before he dies, to how uncomfortable he gets when he's talking about his disease, makes people very suspicious about what's going on behind the scenes. Now, it's important to know that Crohn's disease isn't actually fatal, although the disease can lead to life-threatening complications. But if you watch the podcast Mr. Beast did with Casey Neistat, you'll see that Mr. Beast says that it's pretty much under control right now, thanks to the way he's living, his diet, and the medication he takes. I got on Remicade, and I'm still on Remicade right now. I'm in remission. I get Remicade every five weeks, and I take pills every Saturday. I'm on a really, really strict diet, and uh, I feel normal i actually feel kind of good right now so to me it sounds like mr beast definitely has this under control i mean mr beast even talks about how he's been dealing with this disease since the ninth grade he's obviously been managing the disease very well over the course of his life and he just gets uncomfortable because he's not really too big on talking about it it's not that he doesn't want to talk about it because he's dying it's just he doesn't enjoy talking about the disease that he has i'm sure most people would be the same way i feel kind of weird talking about something when i'm not even really fully educated on it i just know like inflammatory it's a uh disease in my small intestine or something. So is Mr. Beast dying? No. Mr. Beast isn't dying. I think this all started with someone who just heard that he had a disease, posted it on TikTok for some attention, got a bunch of views, and then other people saw, hey, that got views, let me do the same thing.